what is going on guys welcome back to run my crypto hopefully you guys are doing extremely well today so we're going to talk about jasmine and guys it looks like a good time to fill your bags up if you hadn't already because the markets are down and it's time to get jasmine at that 0 0.04004 level again while you have an opportunity so guys this is not financial advice this is just some education we're going to touch on many things that is really shaking people out of jasmine for some reason people still think Jasmine is a rug pull. Well, we're going to explain detail by detail. Not only that, I'm going to touch on some of the Jasmine chain information, what needs to be basically addressed to Jasmine investors if you guys don't already know what's going on. So, we're going to cover a lot of news behind Jasmine today. Um, remain vigilant, guys, especially if you're invested in Jasmine. Do not let all this FUD shake you out, guys. So, let's talk about Jasmine and let's cover. Make sure you guys watch all the way through to the end. Because you don't want to miss out on any of this information that's viable for Jasmine. All right, let's get into it, guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you can stay in tune with Run My Crypto. Let's go. So, first things first, let's jump into the market so I can show you what I'm talking about. Great buying opportunity for Jasmine, and this may be the last time to buy at these prices. Let's go. So, if we look at the overall market, it looks like Jasmine is sitting at 0 0.0047 with a market cap of 230 one million dollars volume of 32 million uh for jasmine and looks like we're approaching that 50 billion max supply coming really really fast looking at the current market conditions it looks like if we look on the monthly we've seen a little bit of a pullback but you know annually it looks really really good i mean here's the thing like people don't understand that jasmine has come a long way from their original uh, if we look at the all-time high, it looks like we just bounced up super high and then just took a deep dive. And there's other projects that look like this that are very good. And I think there's a lot uh, to telltale behind this. It's not a rug pull. People are consistently saying that Jasmine's a rug pull, but I beg to differ. This project is very um, adamant about putting forth a lot of really hard work to ensure that you know the vision of this project is met out and played out and i think we're gonna see this really start to kick uh you know kick into high gear in 2024 um i do believe that genuinely and i'm gonna cover some information that um really needs to be aired out because i think uh not a lot of people are understanding the sophistication behind jasmine and what they're doing to accomplish uh data democracy and you know push forward to get there um, so let's go ahead and jump into some of the hardcore details behind Jasmine, what makes it, uh, you know, a very good investment for the future and obviously in 2024. You know, so what we really need to focus on with Jasmine is understanding that it's not necessarily where the price is. I get it. As an investor, that's the most important thing to you. But understanding how Jasmine is going to get there and accomplish that uh, that price to be able to change. Um, is really in the works and a lot of people are not seeing that a lot of people are missing out people uh, don't have the strength to muster you know that there are some cryptocurrency projects that are not going to catapult right off the bat you know we need the the uh, momentum of the bull run to basically push you know certain cryptocurrency projects but i'm telling you that what's going to happen is you know some are going to continuously keep getting out of jasmine but once the money starts to flow in we're going to see these uh huge pumps that a lot of people have been waiting and waiting and waiting for i get it but you have to understand the market is going to work the way the market works it's going to hit different projects at different times and some are not going to be up front like you have projects that have done you know 60 70 80 100 percent moves um that haven't done nothing you know all year then you got projects like hbar and cardano um cardano they have barely you know started to move and we barely started to see like 30 percent action um on these tokens now um jasmine has seen some significant gains um already but it's pulling back just like everything else and this may be the very last time because according to the psychology of a market cycle we are going to start this bull run rather quickly now this may be like i said the last time to fill up your bags at these levels for jasmine because there is a lot of positive momentum coming for Jasmine. So let's look at some of the partnerships that is ongoing right now. And let's talk about why it's important for Jasmine to continuously focusing on building the foundation of the cryptocurrency project versus trying to drive the price up. We have the Q4 lockup, 
where tokens are going to start being locked up in March. And then we have, you know, Jasmine Chain going in effect. And make sure you keep watching because I'm going to clarify um, some items behind Jasmine Chain. Oh, here's an article about Jasmine and uh, Big Get uh, in Japan. So they're going to have an AMA that's going to be popping off in about, uh, I believe it's on Thursday. So two days from now, um, they're going to announce. So this is in Japanese, yes, but I'm going to go over and explain because they have uh, the same article uh, posted on uh, Twitter where it goes into explain. But let's talk about this a little bit. So we see Jasmine not only moving into, uh, you know, taking over internet of things iot data democracy you know jasmine's actually doing really great things in japan so we have to understand that <clears throat> there's a lot of things there's a lot of factors that people miss out on so we know that <clears throat> jasmine is all in on data democracy we know that jasmine this is an article that came out for jasmine um talking about what jasmine does as a company you know and it's essentially how japan looks at it is they're essentially pioneering the internet of things in blockchain they're bringing it together so this article goes over um you know a lot of information about jasmine and what the company's doing and how it works you know and you know key features how you know jasmine's uh goal is to basically you know become um efficient at being able to store data and monetize data uh for the user advantages and um, it talks about how they use the SKC, which is the secure knowledge uh, communicator and how the token plays a, a critical role in, um, you know, being able to be used for paying network services. So Jasmine token is extremely important. I know many people have this question, um, you know, with the implementation of Jasmine chain, is that essentially going to uh, have them migrate from Jasmine coin over to a new coin? And no. They're going to integrate Jasmine Chain with the original Jasmine token. So just to clarify that again, with the launch of Jasmine Chain, they are going to continue using the original Jasmine token. And they're going to integrate that through the OP stack system um, to be able to be utilized. Now, this is highly important because we need to talk about you know something that i think people really need to grasp so what we really really need to understand as investing in jasmine is that you know the route that they're going now they they've okay let's let's look at it they have internet of things checked off they have all the partnerships that requires to be the best at doing um you know processing internet of things is already in place now they're going into figuring out how to basically scale out that system so that it would be easier and user friendly and very cheap to be able to get customers to use their services. And what they did is they created the Jasby chain. Now, what Jasby chain is going to do is going to be uh, built through an OP stack system. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow Jasby, the ERC 20 to integrate with the layer two of Jasby chain. And Jasmine Chain is be is going to be able to shift Jasmine is uh, their original system onto Jasmine Chain, uh, being able to use the tokens. Now, what's crazy is what we have to understand is that they're putting this in place now to be able to utilize DPIN, uh, which is going to allow businesses, huge infrastructure businesses, to be able to use Jasmine resources and use Jasmine token as um, a form of reward payment system for big business infrastructures now it goes beyond that we look at all they've done on the software side of things so they're basically attacking everything that they possibly can now the value lies within jasmine token being at pretty much almost a hundred percent of the supply is out in circulation so that goes to show you that there are major key holders in this aspect right so if this was a rug pull we wouldn't be close to or almost 100% consumed of tokens in circulation. Now, we have to understand how important that is. You have over 60,000 holders for Jasmine. You have a lot of partnerships that are in place. So to be a rug pool for this project, you would have to think that why in the world would you go out and gather all these partnerships? These partnerships are vested into jasmine so when it comes into jasmine and they talk about a partnership they're essentially 
having those partners invest in this project. So there is no way that a lot of big businesses are going to sign off and cut money to Jasmine knowing that this project is not going to do anything. So that's very critical for you to understand. Now, in two days, Jasmine is going to go and they're going to do an AMA and we're going to get some updates behind some of the information that many people have been wanting to hear. We have a Jasmine US who is an ambassador who has reached out to Hera who is going to get information. So in my view or my opinion on it, Jasmine is really putting themselves in position to dominate in 2024. And I think everybody's missing that because once the bull run starts to take place, that's when a lot of money is going to flow into Jasmine because the businesses, the infrastructure, deep in IOT, data democracy, you know, Web3 is going to kick off all of these fundamentals that makes Jasmine a complete project are actually going to go into effect. And you're going to see the amount of impact that it's going to have on Jasmine. Once Jasmine chain goes live and now we're starting to have resources for users to start um, engaging in Jasmine as a project and as a platform, we're going to see significant amounts of volume travel through Jasmine as a project and in turn is going to raise that price significantly because of the use the use cases the utility behind Jasmine where big business infrastructures are going to come in and start to suck up some of that plot supply and then the circulation is going to you're going to have that that healthy heartbeat rhythm of you know tokens flowing out tokens flowing in where you're going to have sales demand there's going to be momentum there's going to be action going through Jasmine which is going to take Jasmine a lot higher than you would expect especially when they do the integration and the value behind the coin or the token becomes more of a demand for the product then we'll see jasmine start to rise and it's going to happen you know pretty much out of nowhere i believe and you know pretty sad for those who can't muster the strength that you know you got into jasmine because you believed in it you have to keep that type of mentality going forward you know, just looking at uh, Jasmine Chain's website um, and you look at it, you know, they're uh, again built off of this specific website, you know, claiming for Jasmine to basically pioneer data democratization, you know, and you'd look at what Jasmine Chain is going to do. You see, you know, Jasmine Chain is a high speed, stable, scalable L2 blockchain uh, crafted specifically for developers seeking to democratize data seamlessly integrating with existing web3 platforms our account abstraction rollup architecture offers heighted efficiency and they do that using their ai engine so now jasmine has incorporated artificial intelligence engine to basically you know um, operate within web3 applications for users and developers to control data unlocking a new paradigm of data engagement so essentially what that is going to do is create this powerhouse system where you know it's not so light when it comes to being built you know when it's data democracy when you're talking about data and locking up data at high speeds and being able to monetize data at high speeds using ai uh to make those stick you know so you could come over here to jasmine chain i suggest you go through this information you know there's a lot of information in here uh, behind Jasmine so you know there's so much going on that it's kind of hard to say hey you know um, Jasmine's a rug pull or Jasmine's not going to do anything you know Jasmine's been around for a long time I believe personally that there's a lot of value in Jasmine as a project and as a company so I'm going to be on this call um, on Thursday to be able to see if I got it, if we could get any information that's you know that's going to settle some of our, you know, uh, worries or concerns that we have with the project. But ultimately, you know, if you really uh, just dig in, I mean, if I could actually put a, a list together of all the things that Jasmine has done to put themselves in a position to be a successful cryptocurrency project, you know, it would I could probably have a novel, but it's based on Web3. So that's this is what really needs to happen. We need Web3 to really kick off. And as you see, Jasmine integrate and incorporate with Web3 services where people start to use it and it starts to become a demand. A lot of smart businesses understand that Jasmine is set up to uh, pretty much dominate IoT and data democracy because you got Sony executives behind it. You know, you could say what you want, but when it comes to Japan and technology, they don't sit on their thumbs and they don't twiddle their thumbs. They go in, 
they get the technology side of it done and then they implement so that's the thing that we've been seeing is all the legwork to be be able to start you know jasmine to start putting in you know work and you know they're they're pretty much if you think about it the software is out there the computers are out there the information's out there they're going into a uh, consortium they're going into carbon footprint they're going into deep in where you know big businesses and infrastructures are going to use jasmine to be able to uh service businesses i mean it's going to be huge when you think about it so the effect is not here we're still very early into this bull run right now is probably one of the best times to buy jasmine because we're back down at that point zero zero four seven level and fill up your bags pack your bags with jasmine because the reward is going to slip from out underneath you and you're not going to see these 0 0.004 or this 0 0.007 or this 0 0.01 cent ever again after this bull run. I don't think we will retrace after we get to the peak of this bull run. Jasmine will not retrace or correct back down to those levels again. So make sure you guys do your homework, do your research. Again, this is not financial advice, but know when to get in, know when to fill up your bags and know that these bags will never be this cheap again, especially with Jasmine. Take care. See you guys on the next one.